Hey guys, so the purpose of this video is to teach you how to get from Character Creator 3 to Maya so that the character's skeleton works the human IK controls. So what you want is you want to get your character in Character Creator 3, I've got it here. Then want to click File, Export, Send Character to iClone. You will need the Character Creator 3 Pipeline version, iClone and 3D Exchange to make this work. So make sure you have those. So when you've done that, send it to iClone, file, export, send it to iClone. And you've got it in iClone, it should have loaded up. Then I want to click Edit in 3D Exchange. Then when that goes to 3D Exchange, it should look like this or something similar. After that, you want to click File, Export to other format, Export FPX. You want to name it whatever you want. So mine is Military Chick. Then click Windows, well, Maya, Windows 64 bit, keep more source. Click Destination and click OK. When you've got that, you go into Maya, click Import, click your character, and in this bit here, you go in Namespace Options, Resolve Clashing Nodes with the file name, and you Import. So when you've got that, you should have your character here. What you want to do? Highlight the bone root, then want to go into your rigging, go into skeleton, human IK, create character definition, click on the bone root, edit character definition, load the template, and I will be providing this template here. Um, it was given to me by another YouTuber, so I will link that in the description. And I'll also link the file in the description too. So you do template, choose this, and that works with 3D Exchange 7, Character Creator 3. Um, click OK, and it should have worked. Click lock, do that, control rig. So now you have your control rig here. What I usually do is I just send this control reference all the way to the top, next to the bone root, just so I can see it. And there we go. So I place it there, just so I know it's there. Then if you want to test it out, you can go, where is it? Um, click none, input animation example. Character one, dummy fight. And then solo that just to see if it does work. Change that to like 120 FPS. As you can see, it does work with the animation example from Maya. So that worked. Definition, you can see everything's linked up properly. So this little tool does work and it does, yeah, it works. Yeah, so that's how you get your character from Character Creator 3 to Maya to work with the human IK controls. So I hope that tutorial was helpful to you. It was very short compared to my other ones, but I saw online a lot of people having trouble finding the answer to this. I can find it the only thing that helped me was a YouTuber's comment, well, comment in the YouTube video. He linked the, uh, he linked the file, so I'll link all that, in, all that below. But yeah, um, I hope everyone has fun modeling. I hope this does work for you. And uh, yeah, take care. Um, see you in the next video.